Hello everyone, uh, I'm Joe King and I give you Fika Fiesta. <coughs> we have this dream, this dream where we go after our passion. You hear about it, you read about it, you see it on the TV, it's possible. We decided to work hard on our passion and to see where we crossed the line. And here is what we came up with. Meatball machine, Swedish made meatball with a creamy authentic sauce that's just too good to be true. Why not top it off with some caramelized onions? <laughs> salmon salsa singer, we're talking spicy grilled salmon with a homemade salad ingredients such as avocado, mangoes, and why not some honey in there? Top it off with a little yogurt. Oh, no. Oh, there's that one? There's that one. <laughs> <laughs> Ravishing reindeer, tender reindeer meat with a homemade spicy tomato sauce that's you simply can't miss. These three tacos give you a snapshot of our menu as a Swedish Mexican fusion food truck right here in Minneapolis. We are what Justin Bieber was six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> the next big thing. <laughs> Manage management team is comprised of myself, Joaquin, and my friend Andres, who unfortunately couldn't be here today because he's playing nationals in Chicago in tennis. We met three years ago here at Gustavus where we were both playing a tennis team. We love tacos, try new things, and did I mention tacos? <laughs> <laughs> We're dedicated and passionate to work hard and create new life-changing menus to add to our the recipes. Mm -hmm. myself, oh, myself, I'm from Stockholm, Sweden, and Anders is from Cancun, Mexico. We're both curious, outgoing, and friendly personalities interested in the service industry. We have found what we want to do, and we're going to do it. There's currently... No. Food trucks are more than just a hot food. They're quickly becoming one of the fastest growing, most flexible small business opportunities for entrepreneurs in the U.S. It's an industry that's competitive, but quickly growing and rewarding. It's our job to bring something new to the table if this ever-changing ever food culture makes something new to the table or sidewalk, in this case. This industry has seen an incredible revenue increase the last five years with an annual rate of 12.4%. Last year, there was more than 4,000 food trucks in the U.S. with an average revenue stream of $290,000. It's pretty good. It's something that we want to be a part of. Our target market are young people with a desire for change. With globalization and world's doorsteps, everyone's curious about what's up there. We provide you a convenient way and show you a piece of that puzzle. Our target market, they think about how much food they get for their dollar, they like to try new things, and of course, they can't stay off their phones. They're always on social media. We see a ubiquitous group that we want to invite to Fika Fiesta. There's currently 90 operational food trucks in Minneapolis, which of none resembles one of Swedish Mexican fusion cuisine. We like it. <laughs> <laughs> there is, however, other challenges and advantages a food truck can face. Advantages such as innovative, ability to innovate and cater. It's cheap, mobile. However, it has downsides as well, such as small working space, hard with legislation, hard to find parking that's legal, and believe it or not, tough to find your customers, even though you can drive after them. <laughs> and of course, your food truck is going to break down. <coughs> a restaurant can't get a flat tire. We are nonetheless not worried. With a lot of research done regarding the industry, we believe that we are comfortable in uncomfortable situations. And also, we have membership membership in the Minnesota Food Truck Association, we are confident that we'll seek, get, seek to find the answers we seek and receive the help when needed. We will continuously work to introduce, announce, connect, and develop offers on social media, anything to get our name out there. We will have a great website, Snapchat, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and of course, you can find us on Yelp. We really believe in creating a buzz about our business prior to launching it, so everyone knows we're coming. Our idea is to sell our first revenue before even selling our first talk. We will doing this by having discounts and gift cards on our existing social media platforms. Since the target market are young people, we will strategically place ourselves outside of nightlife hotspots, waiting for people to head home, hopefully with a fusion talk on there. In the winter times, our operations will change substantially. It's imperative for our customers to have easy access, so we'll have more or less a constant location. We'll also more cater more, go to more events, and partner up with local businesses. Anything to find our customers. Financials. With a very conservative outlook on this, we would need around $100,000 to get everything up and running. $90,000 for the food truck itself, the equipment, inventory, fees, you name it, plus 
um, $10,000 of cash on hand for the first year. We will go in with $5,000 of this ourselves as a down payment and as an investment for the future. If we would have 50 customers five days, uh, every day, five days a week buying food from us and 25 people buying beverages five days a week from us, our breaking point with a 7% gross profit margin is shortly after one year. And with all our different approaches to reach our customers, we believe that we will understand the market and see what makes money and what doesn't. That we're going to make this profitable. Our current status. We've done a lot of research regarding the industry, but you can never know too much of where you're going. So that's what we're going to continue doing. We've we'll also reached out to uh, successful restaurant owner Rick Webb in Minneapolis, Bloomington, Chow Bella, two professional chefs from Sweden, two professional chefs from Mexico, and also a local food truck, food truck owner Paul Essenson in the audience. Thank you. Our long term girl, uh, goal is to open a restaurant, a new place with a new style of food with an atmosphere as mixed as our tacos. Imagine Swedish and Mexican art, furniture, music, design, anything to make the sense of two worlds coming together into one new culture. One new culture we want all of you to be a part of. After that, we aim to hit the global market, extend our restaurants all over the world. This will be an adventure where we will share what we know best, our homes. We believe that this new culture of cuisine is the start of something big, something that will consider us as pioneers in the world of fusion and fun cooking. We want to treat people to the outside of their comfort zone, just like we did. This is our new food truck that will give a new, uplifting vibe to the neighborhood and a menu that you won't see anywhere else. Welcome. What taco is your taco? <laughs> Not only on, um, I don't think you need that, I think you need to be looking at financing the downstroke um, and having far more cash on hand. And I think that the gross margin seems really high um, just from a, um, having looked at, at these. And um, <clears throat> so I, I think that the, there needs to be work on the numbers, but I look forward to finding out where the first location is. Thank you. 